Well, just Lisa Vegas, let's start off with what we can expect as we move forward in the week, especially as we head into Friday and Saturday. Watching Tropical Storm now Francine out in the Gulf of Mexico. And as this inches closer to us, it will start to increase some of that tropical moisture. We're also going to see some rain chances. This is also going to be tagged to right now. It's a stalled out front. We've got high pressure up towards the north, so we do have a little setup here. But more importantly, let's talk a little bit about Francine. So right now, tropical storm as we press forward, let's take a look at where uh, Francine is heading. So right now, wind speeds around 65 miles an hour. That's what we saw even yesterday. So holding steady and that recent update was just updated here right around five o'clock. So as we press forward by Wednesday evening as potentially a category one hurricane, we're watching for those like Louisiana. Now this has been trending a little bit further and further east. Now the latest models really put it out towards the east, even potentially heading out towards Biloxi, Mississippi. So we'll watch for the development here, but this is getting thinner and thinner. So we're really watching for Baton Rouge, parts of New Orleans. Now as we continue to press forward up towards the north, right along the Mississippi River here, a big cone of uncertainty where this could set up, but either way we're going to see some moisture and that's going to take place on Saturday. So rain chances are still going to increase for a lot of us across the southeast. Most of that rain is going to be highlighted there four to eight inches right across parts of the Mississippi. As we zoom in right along I-77, we talked about this, right? Everything really just east of the area, a little less likely we're going to see those higher rain totals, potentially up to about a half an inch, but everything west and the further west you are, the more likely you're going to see those higher rain totals, but a lot of us across our viewing area could potentially see about half an inch up to an inch for those across the foothills, maybe up in the mountains, those across parts of Cleveland County as well. That's where we want to keep an eye out for. So let's press forward, taking a look at our future cast Wednesday evening. Cloud cover starts to roll in. We start to see these showers popping up late Thursday, but some isolated showers absolutely possible now into Friday. Humidity in place. You're going to notice it. Temperatures a little cooler, but notice the further west you are like Morganton right along I 40 and stretching east over into Asheville. That's where we're seeing the bulk of that rain. We're going to still watch out for the potential of those, those rain bands to affect us. But again, further west, more likely you're going to see those higher totals. Now here's a look at our rain totals from Thursday, Friday, peaking Saturday, kind of tapering off, and then we'll watch for another system by the end of the seven day forecast. In the meantime, we did reach a high of around 85 degrees this afternoon for tomorrow. High temperatures dropping slightly into the lower 80s. Cloud cover like we talked about slowly starts to build in the forecast and then the humidity creeps back in, especially Thursday, Friday. Rain chances start to increase and like we talked about, we're just watching for those rain bands to develop. Can't rule out some thunderstorms as well as we had into the weekend. So have those backup plans here and then we'll watch for the Panthers in the next couple of days as far as rain chances continuing in the seven day forecast. Lisa, thank you. Coming up all new.